Hello and welcome to this Range Rover Sport. Uh, lovely car this, I'll walk you around it. It has a little bit of paintwork required or maybe just a polish, but I'll get to that shortly. So looking around the front of the car, we've got uh, parking sensors to the front. Tyres are all good. Uh, as you can see, car's only covered just over 9,000 miles and uh, is subject to a private plate transfer. Uh, wheel is all in good order, nothing to worry about on that one. And there's a stand back from the car and just pan down the offside here. It's all good. Apart from, we've got a little bit of scuffing to this uh, rear door here. I think that one's painted, feels like it's broke the paint to me. So it wants that door paint. Again, rear wheel is good, but we're missing a centre cap. And tyre is good as well. We don't um, uh, cover um, tyres in any way, shape or form, but we do give you an indication whether they're bald or not, just for when you're picking it up. We've also got a little bumper scuff there. You might get away with polishing that out, but it has lost the paint here. So for me, while you're doing that door, you'll just flash over that part of the bumper as well. Coming around the back of the car, as I said, it is subject to a rear, uh, sorry, to a, not a rear plate transfer, to a, a plate transfer, and then in the boot. Over mats as well, and then in the boot, we have this the uh, Space Saver spare wheel and the all important locking wheel nut. Again. Coming down this side, rear wheel all good, tyre is in good order as well. And then as we pan down here, this was the paintwork I was alluding to before, it's got a key scratch down the wing which runs into the door. You might get away with polishing the door but you're definitely going to have to paint that wing so while the paint's in the gun, you're probably going to flash over that door as well. Okay, that's the exterior side done. I'll just pan to the inside. So first thing I notice, we've got the rubber over mats. I do like to see that. It tells me the customer's looked after his vehicle. Uh, um, Meridian Hi-Fi. And then we've got these lovely upgraded seats. A bit like the Daytona seats you get in a Ferrari with that stitching. And we've got the glass panoramic sunroof as well. Which I think does open but I'll clarify that for you in a minute when I go around to the driver's side again in the rear we've got the uh, heating uh, the um, climate control for the rear passengers and also heated seats and again we've got this theme of the upgraded seat that runs through the rear as well okay jumping in the driver's seat we can see 9,492 miles sat now Bluetooth heated seats everything as you'd expect with the Range Rover and then as we suspected it's got the uh, dual sunroof uh, which actually opens not just a fixed roof like some of them can be okay so there we have it one lovely Range Rover Sport um, winning bidder please feel free to download the photos we do take a bit of time on them for you uh, you can get it right straight on your website ready to retail thanks very much goodbye